everyone, I'm testing the new 2021 Lexus IS and it has all new sheet metal on this high performance sedan. You'll notice on the front end, it has the signature face of Lexus, a big bold grille that you can't miss on the road. Headlamps are about half of the size of the last ones for a nice sleek look and pronounced lines that run along the hood as well as the side of the body. And when you come around to the rear, you'll notice this horizontal light bar. That is also a signature new look for Lexus. So you, when you see it on the road, you know exactly what it is. So this is available with either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive configurations. If you go with the base model, you're getting a 241 horsepower turbocharged two liter four cylinder engine in the IS 300. That's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. If you move up to the IS 300 all wheel drive, you'll get 260 horsepower in a 3.5 liter V6 engine. Move up even higher and you get the IS350 all-wheel drive with a 3.5 liter V6 engine and 311 horsepower. Both of those en engines are mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. Now, of course, you'll even want to wait a little bit longer for the racier 2022 model of the IS500 F Sport. That will be powered by a 5 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine that will pump out 472 horsepower. That will join the lineup next year. Also new are the technology features. Uh, a lot more safety features are included in this vehicle. Uh, plus new features like this remote system here that actually lets you control uh, all the infotainment system on this touch screen. It is a lot more user friendly than the last version. Now besides the design changes, there are structural changes to the handling. It's much improved compared to the last version. I'm driving the all-wheel drive version, and let me tell you, it is great on these snow-covered roads. Uh, and when you put it into the Sport S Plus mode, it's a lot of fun to drive with, especially when you're ripping around corners. Prices start around $43,000 for the rear wheel drive. Uh, you can move into all wheel drive for just a couple hundred dollars more. And I totally recommend going that route because definitely worth having an all wheel drive vehicle with a good set of winter tires to handle anything Mother Nature throws at your face. <laughs> Thanks for watching Motaragatsa. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Ciao, ciao.